Well, a woman is in critical condition after she was bitten by a shark in New York City. As a result, this morning, Rockaway Beach Park was closed. And News Nation Sloan Glass joins us now live. So, Sloan, what do we know about the latest on her condition? Kelly, the hospital where that woman is being treated tells us that she remains in critical condition. It appears that the shark took a bite from her upper thigh. Now, this rare event closing Rockaway Beach for the first time since the 1950s. For the first time in decades, a shark attack off of a New York City beach. Lifeguards administering first aid before the 50-year-old was rushed to a trauma center in critical condition. Police launching drones over Rockaway Beach to scan the ocean and telling swimmers to stay out of the water. The New York City Parks Department saying, prior to today, we have no reports of shark bites on Rockaway Beach in recent memory. Across the East Coast, swimmers have been on the alert for months. These two, they are out in the ocean and you could see the dark shadow of the shark go by. As New York's popular Long Island beaches filled for the 4th of July holiday, five reported shark attacks. And in Alabama, hammerheads circling a crowded beach. Jaw-dropping video of a shark swimming in knee-deep waters in Florida. Captured a month after a fisherman rinsing off his hands was pulled overboard by a shark. Get him, get him, get him, get him. The beach will, will remain closed for the rest of the day. NYPD continues to monitor the waters with drones and helicopters. But the officer who I just spoke to told me that on a cloudy day like today, when the water is choppy, it is hard to see anything under the surface, Kelly. Oh, terrifying. All right, Sloan Glass, thank you so much for that update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.